Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review, and I am super hyped today. Why am I super hyped? Well, we got a new background. I hope you like it. Um, goodbye to the shelf that has been with us since the very first video, um, and hello to a full bag of feature, full wall of featured bags, and I'm so excited to rotate these bags and keep introducing you guys to some stuff maybe that you haven't seen before. I love it, I hope you love it too. And I'm also excited because we've got a great bag to talk about today. The Whitley Backpack from Alpha One Niner. This is one that uh, has been uh, heavily requested uh, as a review on the channel and I'm very excited to finally do a review and walkthrough of this bag. So, you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews and we're going to do a full overview of the exterior and interior of the bag, get into all the nooks and crannies. When we're done with that, as always, we're going to do two things we love about the bag, two things not so much, and an overall recommendation. Should you chunk down around $200 on the Whitley backpack from Alpha One Niner? Is it good? Is it worth the money? Okay, let's dive in. Exterior-wise, there's not much to argue about with this bag. It is blacked out, it is slick, it is gorgeous. Uh, you've got black X-Pack all over, sides, front, bottom, top. Um, yeah, blacked out, blacked out, blacked out. Black zipper pulls with little thumb grabs, um, really nice zippers throughout. Uh, you do have an Alpha One Niner leather logo front and center on the bag. I don't love that. I think it would be better served down here, but that's what they do. So it is blacked out, thankfully, um, so it's not incredibly distracting. On the top of the bag, you have a very nice grab handle. You can see that it's nylon but it's a ribbed nylon, so it almost feels like corduroy pants. Uh, it feels really nice, it's appropriately cushioned, and it's big, which means it's really easy to grip and grab, and you don't have to like slide your hand in exactly right to grab it, so really nice grab handle on top of the bag. On the sides, you have water bottle holder here, water bottle holder here. So two water bottle holders, they hold 20 ounce bottles, um, they're a little slick because of the X-Pack material, but I didn't have any problem with my bottles slipping out of the bag, but you're not going to be carrying, you know, 30 ounce Nalgene's. This is a, a 20 ounce bottle holder, um, and as with any kind of one of these side bottle holders, when you put stuff in, it does ingress a little bit into your main compartment and take a little bit of room away, not a big deal breaker. Um, I always, when I have an exterior water bottle holder, use it for my power bank, okay? And slap a cord in there as well, and always have a little access to a power bank on my bag. It's just something I've always done as long as I've had bags. So that's how I use mine. Let's talk about the back of this bag. You have a lot going on back here. Um, you have a luggage pass-through that is elasticized and Velcroed down, which is nice. You have a very cushioned back section with an airflow channel. Then you have a, a really cool, almost alpine looking harness system with a Fidlock sternum strap. Uh, and the whole thing, uh, and we'll talk about this a little bit more later, rides really comfortably. Um, so it's unnecessarily well cushioned, which I appreciate and really well built out and well made. So the whole harness system is a big win on this bag and very comfortable. Okay, so let's talk pockets. That's the exterior breakdown of this bag. And by the way, no AquaGuard zippers on this. If that is a big deal breaker for you, it isn't for me, um, but I don't live in Seattle and I don't bike commute, so it may be a big deal for you. First pocket up top on this bag, reminiscent of a, uh, a Go Ruck. Um, GR1 um, in terms of the overall shape of this bag. That bag has a kind of a cross zipper right here that drops all the way down to the bottom of the bag and it's kind of a, a hassle to reach down and fish things out when you need them. This bag has gone a different route which I appreciate. This pocket goes down to here so it's a half pocket and 
it is, it's going to be tough to see, but I'm showing you that it is felt lined. Okay. So this is your sunglass pocket slash tech pocket. Okay. I've tossed glasses in there and I've tossed, you know, little headphones and lip balm, etc., into this pocket. So it's a little stash pocket. It is the easiest pocket to get to on the bag. It's what you would normally use a top pocket for. It just happens to be on the top front of the bag and it works really, really well. So good pocket, easy to use and highly effectively executed. Now, front panel. This panel is going to look very familiar to you if you're a regular viewer of this channel because it is eerily reminiscent of the Air City Pack. See? Very similar admin pocket. So, don't know which came first, don't know, don't care. It's just a pocket. Um, I think this is really well executed. Really well executed. So, inside here, you have a couple of things to talk about. You have a document pocket in the back that runs all the way down that front pocket. So you can slip a magazine, you can slip a file folder, you can slip anything that you used to carry in the 80s and 90s into the back of this pocket and use it for that. So a file folder. Um, you also have a zippered pocket up top here. Um, I've just tossed some pins in here. You can toss anything. You can turn this into a little first aid kit, whatever. Then you've got two little credit card sized holders. You've got a little wallet size holder here. You've got two pen holders and a multi-tool slash knife size holder. But wait, there's more. You've got two slip pockets right here. So overall in this top section, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little subdivisions of this top section. Very impressive organization, unless you don't like a ton of organization, in which case this is very unnecessarily complex organization. Depends what your style is. I tend to like something like this, as long as it's well constructed and well executed, and this is both well constructed and well executed. But wait, there's more down here. You also have a full drop pocket that goes to the bottom of the bag that you can use and two elasticized pockets. I have in there my laptop charger and my two most frequently used cords, lightning and USB-C down in these super useful elasticized pockets. Again, very reminiscent in the bottom section of what is going on in the, the Air City Pack, which is a bag that more viewers might be familiar with than the Alpha 1.9 or Whitley backpack. All right, that is the front compartment. Let's talk main compartment, and this is one of my favorite features on this bag because the main compartment on this bag, clamshell, full clamshell. That is a win. So. One of my favorite things in a backpack is to be able to flop the whole thing down to load it out the way I want to. This bag does give you that. Again, not too dissimilar from a ruck style, a go ruck style backpack, um, or like the brown buffalo conceal pack, where you get this big rounded rectangle of space, but this just has better organization in it. So let's talk about the front first and then the main compartment. So here is the front section of the uh, interior compartment. You have a pocket up here that I've just tossed in some knickknacks, some sanitizer, etc. Then you have a mesh pocket that I've put some more backup cords in. So two pockets on the front, one of them is mesh, one of them is solid. And then in the main compartment here, you have plenty of space. I've got a gimbal, I've got AirPods Max, I've got a switch, and then you've got a stretchy tablet holder and laptop holder for a 15 inch laptop. So I use a tablet based carry when I'm out and about for my EDC. So I slipped a little uh, alpaca accessory. This is a med kit for me, slipped it right in there. And then in the back, I've got my tablet. 
This is all very well padded and it is, if you can see here, suspended off the bottom of the bag so you don't have to worry about tossing your bag around. I'm not gonna take my tablet out for a second because I wanna show you how I actually take my tablet out in this bag. This is one of the coolest little features on this bag. So you have a little access point on top here where you can pull open and grab your laptop and tablet out of the bag and zip it closed. Why is that important? Why is that important? So it's not just a neat feature, it's an acknowledgement that they went full clamshell on this bag. And when you go full, full clamshell, what you end up with is the possibility of, because of the weight of what's in the front, remember the admin pocket, everything's in the front door, or the front um, section of this bag. And so if you're opening it up to grab your laptop out in a coffee shop, you could accidentally flop this whole thing open and have your contents spill out onto the table or the floor, etc. So it is nice to be able to access your laptop just from the top here and access your EDC items just from the front section and leave this main compartment closed until you are sitting down and want to open it up. It's a good touch and it's highly effective when you're using it out and about. I was uh, out at a coffee shop, set the bag down next to me and then just pulled the laptop out of the top. Really, really nice. Okay, so that is Ladies and gentlemen, the full walkthrough of the Whitley backpack from Alpha One Niner. Uh, and I've got to say, I'm very impressed. So two things that I really like about this bag. The first thing that I really like about this bag is a simple thing, which is how it feels to hold and carry this bag. I'll start with the top handle. Very, very comfortable and bigger than it needs to be and really well cushioned. That theme continues to the back of the bag. All the cushioning is bigger than it needs to be. Very well cushioned and very comfortable. It really is nice to carry this bag. And then they've made one additional choice here, which sets it apart from, say, the GR1 from GoRock in terms of how comfortable it is to carry. And that is offsetting the backpack straps by about three inches below the bottom of the bag which changes the center of gravity of how the bag carries on your back and eliminates that little bit of kind of the bottom of a long backpack riding just below your spine and kind of hitting your butt and slapping around. They've raised it up just a little bit here, like a, an alpine pack, and allowed the bag to sit a little bit higher on your torso, okay? So I'll toss this on and show you what I mean. Um, but. The, the overall effect is really nice. So it rides a little bit higher, it sits up a little bit above your shoulders, and it feels really nice to carry. So well done with the harness and strap system on this bag. The second thing that I think is incredibly good about this bag and really well executed is the front section. This front admin panel is just so, I mean, it's just a, a joy to use. So, you pull up, you sit down in a coffee shop, you drop your bag on the table, you pull out your tablet from the top, and then you unzip this, flap it down, and you're working. You got your cords in here, you got your pens in here, you got your headphones in here. You got anything you want in this kind of EDC section of the bag. And so that's what I view this section as, is this is just your working panel. So you flip this down, the bag stands up so nicely on its own, the shape that it is and you just use this as your uh, office, and it looks good too. And then you flap it up, zip it up, and you're good to go. So really like this panel, really like the choices they've made here, and really like the functionality of the space inside this bag on the front section. Great stuff. All right, two things I don't like as much about this bag. Two simple things, really. The first one is, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm alone on this one, I can't think of a single time when I've needed two water bottle holders. It's nice for symmetry, but if you told me one of these water bottle holders was going, going to go away and instead there was going to be a zippered pocket there, so I would have one more zippered pocket on the exterior of my bag, I would not be sad. I'd be happy. So I think, you know, I don't know, maybe you guys use two water bottle holders. 
I don't. I've never found myself in a place where I need two water bottle holders. I'd much rather have a little bit taller zippered pocket where I could still put my power bank or anything else that I wanted easy access to, but it would securely close even with a snap. Even maybe putting a flap closure on one of them so you could use it as a water bottle holder if you needed to, but you also could snap it shut. Nitpicking. The next one is not nitpicking. The next one I think is a very practical concern, which is this zippered pocket is stupid. So I, I wanted to keep my power cord for my laptop back here. It, it fits, but only because I have the world's smallest, you know, power laptop supply here. If I had an actual full-sized power cord um, for a Windows laptop or a big Mac charger, it wouldn't fit in there and I'd have to leave it loose in the bag, which is not great. So I just don't understand the dead space down here. The whole, like look at that, that choice to leave a third of this front flap with no pocket, like you could have done a third pocket or my choice would be just drop this mesh pocket all the way down so that you could store a laptop cord in there very easily. It would be really nice. Um, and the unintended consequence there, because they have put nothing here and on the front, the top pocket ends here, so there's nothing on the front there. And in the front pocket here, the main admin section is also up here and you know, there's a drop pocket down here, but maybe you're not using it as heavily. The overall impact is that the whole thing starts to get a little bit top heavy right in this zone. And there's not much going on in this zone, which causes that flop over issue that I was talking about earlier. Um, so is it a big deal functionality wise? No, the bag still stands on its own, even when I fully load it. So it's still structurally sound, but I found myself not using this pocket much at all, um, just because I didn't have a ton that was that shape and size. And if they had done a more universally large size in here, it, I think it would have been very useful. Like just a bisected pocket here, one mesh and one solid would have been very, very nice. Um, so that's it. That's the review. And I hope you enjoyed getting a chance to look at the Whitley backpack from Alpha One Niner. What is my overall recommendation? Should you buy this bag? Well, it comes down to price, I think. Uh, this bag kind of exists in a space with the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack, with the GORUCK GR1, with the Air City Pack, where you're in just like super premium laptop backpack territory. And I think it holds its own remarkably well. This is a really nice bag. Um, the Able Carry Max, I think, is in here too. Like, there, there's just a lot of premium backpacks in this space. I love this one. I'm about to do my top five current laptop backpacks that you can buy video. So look for that coming soon. This is in the top five for me. So that's how good I think this bag is. It takes everything the Air City Pack does, and it one, it just one ups it. It gives you the same storage panel on the front with a little bit more storage options. It gives you a really nice um, plush lined, fleece lined pocket on the front. Um, and it gives you, in addition to this great harness system, it gives you this access to the laptop that you don't get in the Air City Pack. I think it's a great bag. Yeah, this one's a recommend for me. Um, although I really, don't love only having the choice of black. And this space is starting to get pretty crowded and you might be able to find other bags in this space of similar quality for a little bit less money, um, but not too much less money. Even like the Alpaca Elements Pro backpack, which is kind of in this space, competing in this space, it's almost the same money. So uh, I love the bag. I think it's a top five laptop backpack you can buy right now. And if you love the look of the bag, this might be the one to get. Everybody, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the bag. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on the bag. And if you are new here, please subscribe. And as always, when you like and share the videos, it really helps the channel. Everybody, thank you so much. We will 
See you next time. Bye for now.